What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Knights of St. John. So to run off the last episode we have rebooted once again for the fourth time in this campaign and I have taken a different strategy and we are being attacked by some uh, by some rebels. So without further ado let's take him out. So obviously I want to use my artillery, not my artillery, I have no artillery, not yet. Um, but use my cavalry to be mobile and to knock out their guns and to also try and kill as many men as possible. Well, this does look good. Well, that was, well, that was funky. Well, to be honest, it looks like we're going to have to be fairly aggressive with our tactics anyway push out of the town into the clear space. So we do want our guns wide, or well, cavalry wide-ish. Okay, that... My uh, left hand position is a bit odd, so let's focus on my right. So you guys can't push, or well, one of you can push down here at maximum speed. The others can go Can they go along here? They can. Come on, lads, kick into action. I hear a charge already. Don't worry, Barbary pirates. You guys do need to run. Same with my pikes. They got something to say to you. Still aren't running. They are running, but they're just taking a weird way around. You attack the Bible Pirates, where's my other cav? They are running. Understandably, this militia is very upset because they've been fired upon by everybody. The first should help even the odds. And these odds should become increasingly even. As things progress. men form up. Pike, stay where you are. Yeah, I might just keep my pike, keep my cavalry chasing down this infantry unit, actually. Rather than the gunners. The gunners will fall. And a musket fire anyway, whereas infantry can uh, be a bit more fickle about how it wants to die. And as it's a rebel army, it's important to do as much damage as you can. I mean, granted, these are just Barbary pirates. They aren't... I don't know if they're better to kill than desert warriors. hoping that the, the cannons do limber up before they retreat because that makes them so much easier to kill come on you guys four barbary pirates there three one barbary pirate okay come on guys let's kick into gear Yeah, these guys are done for. 
Oh, damn it. I clicked the wrong... Oh, I clicked the wrong damn button. <laughs> oh. But they should... Oh, thank Christ. The otters all help me out. Kind of. Some of them rounded. How many? Just the guns. All right, then. I can send just the cavalry. Okay, now they should be a lot happier. The six. Okay, let's repair. You guys march back. Let's build. Is it worth building an army encampment? Not really, unless I want slightly cheaper infantry that's a bit better than Desert Warriors. I think I'd probably like... Grand Opera House is good because it provides town wealth. Not that they have much. Not that they have much uh, in terms of a town. Um, but it always helps. How much are we getting per turn? Fourteen hundo. Suppose if I don't build it, I'll never build that. Let's bring my men back. Spend the rest on replenishment. So the next target, once Tunis is stabilised, is to head west and hit Algiers and do a similar sort of thing. Take them and then try to get the population to boom. Hopefully, fingers crossed, if I build a town in... If I build a priest, a church building in Tunis, it will generate a priest, which I can then send west... So rather than wasting two town slots doing religion, I can only waste one. Some more Barbary State troops are on their way. So it looks like we will always need some form of a garrison here, but uh, not as likely. So there's a local fishery. What are they? Camels. It's local fishery, town wealth gain, plus region wealth, plus it can build some ships. But we pretty much want to bump straight up to fishing fleet. We probably also want to take... I don't want cavalry in this fight. No, I'm not. I definitely didn't build that. We don't want cavalry in that fight. We want... Yummy, yummy, squishy militia. And let's fight this manually this time. Just because the AI last time we lost about 300 men due to that in mean, the auto resolve, when we could definitely do it for much less. Advance with the militia, provoke them to charge, send in the pikes. So just march them out with my pikes behind them. And then let's run at the last minute. Try to see if we can get some sneaky musket shots. Oh, we're just out of range. But they don't care for that. Understandably, our dudes are routing. But our pikes are in there now, so I'm just going to speed up time. As well as just try to get my militia out of there. What? Is it because of these guys shooting? Is it because of those guys firing into the backs that caused them to rout? Thank God. How much of a screw. <laughs> oh God, that's so dumb. There you go, I'm sat there going, this is easy. Bleh, bleh, bleh. So my guys are going to fire because they're exposed to just the camels. <laughs> God alive. <laughs> Egg on my face massively there, Jesus Christ. Should definitely have uh, turned off fire at wall there and we lost about the same amount of men. <laughs> so today I have proved I am... 
dumber than the AI. It's more or less what we've experienced. It's 21 turns, we're going to get uh, Kasserine. But next turn, obviously, I want to build, I want to expand the um, shipyard, the fishing yard, to increase town wealth and pop gain. And also our roads. Not that we can research tech, but I, I want to do a fairly limited phased expansion. Algiers itself isn't massively wealthy and introduces a border problem with Morocco that may be inclined to attack you. You can attack them, but then that introduces a future stress with Spain because Spain wants Morocco. Spain needs Morocco. And you're not always able to uh, close the Strait of Gibraltar from Spain. So bring you back. Fix some of your men. Let's build the fishery. Can't build anything else, but I would like to upgrade this to the Opera House. The observatory would be nice, but the Opera House is also nice, just because this area hates us. So how much are we making a turn? 15, 15 hundo. It's enough to build or sustain. Can I not build militia here? Actual infantry? No. Okay. Next turn. Come on, Spain. Let's be friends. Let's see if we can just get Britain to peace out. Spain's not at war with the Ottomans, but they're at war with a lot of other people. But here's hoping they don't notice little old me. I'm just here. Don't worry. I'm completely harmless. Let's also hope that the AI has other bigger fish to fry. The main thing is I have to generate maximum revenue from North African territories, which immediately is a massive red flag. But then again, can I build up the North African territories? Yes. Can I potentially make more wealth by building up the North African territories compared to, say, hoping that uh, people stop getting so annoyed with me with other ca with other factions? Yes. Let's build the barracks. Can't build anything else. Yeah, so there's a lot of end turn pressing here. Well, that in of itself isn't so bad because at least, you know, at least we can we can hammer out in turns and not have anything too dangerous happen. Finish off my mug of tea that's now long cold. As we watch the world tick on by. Is that more camels? Well, I need to keep sending my ships out to go and interfere with the Barbary States. I keep forgetting to do that. Especially as they're trying to blockade a, a valuable trade partner. Of course, we've got the next government building Tunis. Let's see, we can just about send our ships in and out of port safely. Knock out the port and then shoot back. Let's also fix the brig. Another camel fight. Which we will do better. Actually, first of all, you are building. Let's build the Grand Opera House to get the increased town wealth. And let's take. Another unit of militia support. <laughs> and I may as well auto it, because it didn't go any better for me <laughs> when I fought it manually, so. Let's replenish. 18 turns to Kasserine. That should improve 
when the dockyard's built. But we will be looking to march west against Algiers, which probably doesn't need a huge army either. I'll probably end up sending cavalry to scout, and it also removes another potentially disruptive uh, Barbary port from us. Which is also good. Especially as we can interfere with the, with the port near Tripoli, but we can't really interfere with the port near Algiers too easily. As you can see, they're still content. They're still intent on uh, blockading the uh, Italian coast, but it looks like the navy is being worn down. Good, so that's the fishing fleet done. We can go straight up to Major Fishery, which builds a fourth-rate ship of the line. So you may as well go straight for it. Nothing else really to spend our money on, except, well, obviously more troops. Let's move these guys back. So these guys will form a, my little garrison to defend against camel attacks. Firstly, actually, let's take... If I take these guys out... Hey! Things are sufficiently happy if they're okay. And we get Kasserine in 13 turns, so it's plus 5 from building the next port. Four more to get. Even bigger increase in our capacity. Good. So I would like to add on some native African muskets, or no, regular militia will do. They still want an alliance, but they've lost all their allies. And they're enemies with the Ottomans, which I don't like. And enemies with Austria, which I don't like. The money is nice, but your political situation is difficult. And I can do nothing to help you. So it's not even a case of, uh, you know, well, let's see what we can do. This might be a good opportunity for us. No, it's not a good opportunity for anyone. Good, we've got our barracks. Let's pick up a general. It's going to take all of our money. But that's okay, because, well, like I've said, this is a turn burning exercise and it's not as though we've got much to do in the game anyway I want a general and I want to pick up some native African infantry or militia native African infantry is a bit better at pretty much everything and they're much cheaper than well they're 40 coins cheaper than line infantry 40 gold a turn 20 more expensive than militia, but 40 difference for two units doesn't sound as bad as 80 units for two units difference, I suppose, is the way to look at it. But yeah, build the church school in Kasserine, start converting the population. Let's get rid of that. Even though morale is okay now, we've got a religious unrest of 10. That's really big in this game. Usually it's about... Uh, normally I would look and go, ooh, religious unrest of four, four or five, that's pretty big, isn't it? No, this is... Ten is huge. Oh, here come more camels. So it looks like these guys aren't even trying to attack us. They're actually moving towards um, Algiers. Just try as I better check the R camels. Oh, you guys do a bit of replenishment stay in the middle you guys pick up one unit and also let's send a cavalry unit to scout what lies ahead on the road oh nothing march up cancel the line infantry might even build a whatever's cheapest a light galley just to sit in here to make sure we don't lose our fishing rights 12 turns not helped by the presence of this guy when we take Algiers I'm going to probably deploy these troops a bit further south to intercept enemies nope intercept any Barbary states 
attacks on us, or I may even... I was about to say, do I make peace with them, or try to? But the problem is, is if I do that, then there might be a risk of, if I declare on them, then the Ottomans will declare on me, which obviously I don't want. And weirdly, I might want to do something like take these territories, maybe take Morocco, if it's politically acceptable. Ah, they're going to continue. Right, there's the garrison. Lots of desert warriors. So they're going to go and resupply. If I lay siege to them, what do they get? Just a bunch more mob. Demand surrender. Okay, I want to pull back. Because I would seek something like a bit more cavalry. Oh, it's must which one? Two units of infantry actually will be good just to solidify my lines a bit. You guys intercept Mr. Magri Magribi. Let's just take him out. Spend whatever you can on replenishing. Let's move back. Ten turns to Kasserine. So take Algiers. We'll build a church called in Kasserine. Hopefully generate a priest. Go also over to Algiers to help pacify the population. And then I don't know what I do. I probably ta attack Morocco. That's probably my next option. If they're not involved in any political shenanigans. This may cause problems with Spain. But depending on how things go, I would also like to take Lisbon to provide another flank of attack against the Spanish should it come to it. And I think the Ottomans might be up to their tricks again. So at least for this turn I don't want to cut the, cut the recording because my screen, is, although nothing's happening, I don't want to cut the recording. Um, but next turn I will I'll skip the recording if the Ottomans are going to be silly I suspect they've probably gone to war with someone someone they don't like and I'm I'm really sure it's also a question of moving units around Istanbul because they can't go around it, they have to get in it and out of it, and if they're removing lots of units, lots of directions, there's lots of entering the city, leaving the city, and just annoying stuff. And this isn't, really isn't what we want to see if we're in a turn-burning scenario, if we just want to see If you're trying to crank out turns, you really don't want to be sat here watching the Ottomans do nothing. So as you can probably tell, I'm waffling to fill up this section. <laughs> um, then I'm going to go to get back to cutting the episodes. Or cutting the end turn portion. Although the funny thing is, because my recording stops, I have no concept of how long these episodes are and funnily enough the time it usually takes from the Ottomans being annoying to me going right screw it I'm gonna cut the episode is about it's between three and four minutes pretty much every time that's my seemingly that's my point where I go no you know what this is ridiculous and I'm sort of tempted to do it because nothing's happening. I don't want to fill content for the sake of filling content. So I'm going to cut the recording because I've, I've had a go. The AI is being dumb. So, yeah. Hopefully you guys don't mind the little stock picture I've got to put in place of the AI being stupid and me losing the video. I think it's because I record through the application rather than the screen. So when I lose the vid, when I lose when the application not breaks or crashes but 
anyway yeah screw it cut let's cut the recording and then i'll bring you guys back in um in a minute and we're back yeah definitely gonna start cutting cutting turns although the usual pattern is i stop filming episodes oh that's a big army that's popped in there they've recruited a bunch of troops up there sweden what the hell's sweden doing here what what that's like upended my plans massively oh well, i should have just attacked what okay diplomacy sweden at war of russia denmark pirates do we declare on sweden i don't want to but i don't want tripoli tripoli's a rubbish region i mean i i think i do because fortunately they currently they have no allies so it's just them and they're already fighting russia and denmark so they're gonna be busy before i do that build up bring these men over gotta go take them out and the, the swedes must have given it to them or bought they must have bought it because their, their army the garrisons teleported so what do they give them for it or do they just buy it off of them and now they're really now they're really rich well let's strengthen this southern force it's interception force then Eight turns till we get Kasserine. Two tactical retreats. So we've got our major fishery, which means we do have access to fourth rates, if we can ever afford it, which I, I doubt. Pet hermit. Plus four. Oh, that's... Oh, I've not even done my ministers. Not that there looks like there's a massive amount that can be done. Treasury guys are really good. You look familiar so I'm pretty sure I must have had you increase hmm. clarity for a form okay plus one treasury plus one management plus one justice some treasury. My treasury guy is really good. My justice guy seems pretty good. Harsh reputation though, which isn't great. This guy's guy is my army minister then, I suppose. Let's try to get these guys back into fighting condition. And also, hopefully, the Algiers region then... Ah, sorry. Cut the recording, guys. See you in a minute before the Ottomans. And we're back in the mix. And I'm curious now. Was there an argument that says I didn't declare on Sweden? I let, I let them have it to see if the region would rebel. But my fear is that if I left them, would they just slowly grow an army in the region? Because I really don't want that. So right now, they get nothing. And let's go take them out. And let's see if we can get peace with their peoples and my peoples. Let's see if that's achievable. I doubt it. They'll probably be a bit miffed. Let's form one formation and let's form another formation. Just go wide around the town. There are artillery up on the ridge. Let's 
garrison militia colonial line so let's bombard the colonial line as a priority if these guys aren't bugged I'll say one of them is or one of them doesn't have a good angle the shot comes in and he's missed it looks like these guys are gonna these guys are going to uh, wander around and not do anything conclusive for a while so let's run to provoke the AI into doing something like let's bash into the firelock arm citizenry with my cavalry The cavalry. Let's run my cavalry on because they're about to get shot in the backside. Keep running, fellas. Bring our cavalry to bear. Oh, they killed an enemy killed an enemy general with one one hit. So let's push these guys inbound, inboard. You guys attack them, and it's all on this garrison colonial line. Yes, we're going to continue, because my men have no experience. Well, my cavalry do, and they're about to get lots more of it. The priority is, let's get my general involved. So this is, it's usually a problem at the start of the game where you've got enemy agents. Particularly the enemy agent that the Barbary States get is really good. You guys stop firing. I'm not quite sure why he redeployed the way you did. There we go. Don't need to do it, but it's worth doing. Good, lost 32 men taking the region. Let's see if So they're unhappy but they have no allies and they're at war with everyone so it's not too bad. Minus five so obviously they don't like us No towns have been built to knock down It's exempt from tax Let's grow our army It's probably don't need a shipyard. Trade port would be nice, but we do get a second port. Would like to grow the towns here as well. March this militia down to Bened Benedetto Mancini. Good. You can do with the new roads, but I'm hoping preparing the magistrate might might help still might cause some rebellions but that's okay so let's hit end turn and then as it gets to the ottomans i'll roll us out or i'll uh, kick the recording and get us back in hmm. just like the ottomans aren't uh ottomans aren't screwing around now so we might actually be able to make some decent progress See, I wish I could trade with... See, workers on strike. Understandable. So they're down to minus two, which obviously isn't good. Is it 
technically even better to cancel that, recruit a unit of militia, or maybe even two units of militia, to just get them to chill out. Let's try and... Peace. Nope, I'm not giving you tuners. No peace for you. In the short term, recruiting troops might be the best thing to help calm them down. And they're sufficiently not angry. I'm not angry with me. They're sufficiently uh, chill. Or the Ottomans were, that I'm actually going to not end the recording when it's their, their turn. <laughs> See? That happened. Morocco would be a great capture. Yes, they've, they've rioted. We haven't got the money to rebuild it, which is annoying, but... Oh, there we go. I don't think it'll matter. We'll still have a rebellion. But it's not the end of the world. They're not recruiting anyone. But yeah, main focus is get that school built and also get that fishing uh, fishing region built. We may and we also may have a giant Swedish army coming to attack us, but I'd like to think they're a bit busy because they're fighting against Denmark and against Russia. Yeah, there's the rebellion. Bunch of usual fellas we're used to seeing. Can't build anything. Can't build roads. I'm not going to bother selling out to attack them. They'll come to me. I don't, you know, there's not a lot at the minute that I think is worth doing. Not that we can do anything. Uh... Yeah, there's nothing that can be really be done. Except, yeah, they're going to rout, then they're going to come after us, and that's okay. 600, we could build the, we could build the farm. But with the rebel army out there, I'm not so sure I want to do it. I want to just let them come at me. I don't want to give them an incentive to go west, if that makes sense. I want them to just go north and attack me. Three turns. So they're starting to get food shortages. But there's not a lot we can do about that. Not yet, anyway. So major fishery is as high as it can go can't trade can't do anything just got to grind the turns out and hopefully as I get the resistance as I get the uh, religious unrest down I then start to switch buildings over to industry but I really do want to stay away from attacking Tripoli to not have a border with the Ottomans and to not give them an incentive to attack me. Not that they need it, as you saw in the last episode, but we've got an awful long way. Yeah, well, at least they've sallied out and hit us at Algiers. So let's do it. We're not sallied and hit us, we're under siege at Algiers. So there may be some suffering from that blockade, but I hope that what will happen is, an, is it, one of our European allies will come in and help uh, help dig us out of that hole. I may have to emergency disband some of these troops, but that's okay as long as we uh, win against these rebels for now. That's all we need to worry about. Okay, let's put you over here instead. Let's put... You guys out like so. Same with you guys. 
all the cavalry. Our gunners are just gonna have at them. Boom. Because they're all clumped together. I'm more than happy to let them uh, just to just bombard them, do damage, get some experience on my guns, because they attacked me. Remember, I don't have to uh, attack them. They're the ones that elected to rebel. They're the ones with the clock. Don't make me send cavalry up. Oh, come on, man. Oh, they're tripping. We're coming after them. Our artillery is still able to give us good fire support because they're up on a hill. Speed up time as we push up because there are Barbary pirates hidden over here so we don't want to push up too much. He says, then rushing up. I've got my cavalry nearby. There they are. Push the left flank. This guy's smashed into the Barbary pilot pirates. Halt fire, because I just saw that guy put the gun to his shoulder to aim at these pirates, which is obviously the last thing I want. Got them. Once the pirates have left the field of fire, then they can fire at will. You can chase down them, you can chase down them. Where's my other cavalry? You're now attacking. Or have been attacked by. These Barbary pirates. You're doing good, but I don't want to. Don't let those guys get away. Make sure that unit is dead because there's only six of them. One guy left. Damn right, continue. You rebel scum. Let's triple speed it now. Get a whole bunch of kills. 
incredibly experienced regiment of horse. Don't worry about killing units, just kill as many men as you can, because they're already so close to the border. Shame. Heroic victory, that's exactly the word I would use. 500 men remaining. So, we can't deal with, even though they're all just Jebex, we can't actually deal with them. Can I? Go, go, gadget, auto resolve, because they're all just Jebex. Damn right. <laughs> Okay, get you guys back in. Send my little light galley. Intercept. Cert. Get back to port. Nothing to stop them coming back straight away. But I don't want to send my men out to chase down the rebels. Trying to piece out the Barbary States, but it's not working. All with the backdrop that there could be a Swedish stack sailing its way to a village near us. Which, even if there is, there's nothing we can do about. So I'm just hoping they're too busy. Let's just march all these guys out. Attack them. Auto resolve. See, they're even happy, and we're not even in, the, and we're not even in the town yet. So let's get these guys fixed up. It's so next turn we get Kasserine. Good. And we don't have any agents of any sort, so let's do some cheap replenishment like this. Because may as well do it a bit more casual like. You I can even tax you and earn a mighty forty-two dollars. Go on, Austria, go take out those Barbary states wherever they are. Mm, so definitely will be looking. Looking at Morocco, because Morocco grows quite well and you've also got ports on the Atlantic so I could even get some ships out to do some trading when my home port is actually available that is and it's probably going to be a question more about I think right now I'm going too heavy on line infantry it should instead go on to more militia. Good. Castering Purse. Church School. Can't build anything else. Algiers will get a town in 46 turns, supposedly. There'll be more when I increase, when I repair or build a uh, fishing port here in Oran. These are, yeah, I was going to say, they're smoking, but they are finished. 28 turns to Tatooine grows, a bit too close to the enemy. And how do they get an agent? I don't. That's just not fair. Let's get my galley out. To interfere with their port again. I mean, yeah, they're losing loads of cash each turn, but they've got their, their other amount. Wait, have they got... They've got a... Clamour for a form. War weariness. Yeah, that'll happen. Okay, you guys... 
keep replenishing because we will probably want to take Morocco. At war with the Ottomans and the pirates, but they trade with Spain. But let's not overreach. Let's just keep growing the towns we have now. No. I didn't want an alliance with you when you were powerful, Poland. Why would I need one with you now? And the Ottomans are pushing into Russia. The Ottomans are taking Kiev. They're launching an attack into the Ukraine. Good. That keeps them looking away from me. But also kind of bad, because it means that the... The uh, Russians aren't just looking at the Swedes, either. I think, over I think overall I'll take that. Hmm. I think. So the next thing to do, build a a uh, port in Oran. Let's get Algiers growing. Because Algiers gets, how many towns do you get? You get Be Behaya, is that Behaya? And Anaba on the coast, and I believe that's it. So it's only two towns, not massively affluent. But damn, I'll take this. So, one turn away from the church school being built. Start converting the population away from Islam into Catholicism and also get that religious unrest down. Which will be excellent. And we could probably try to build a school here at Tatooine, maybe, depending on how politics goes with the Ottomans. They've suddenly got some money, which means they've fixed their port. So let's go break it. <laughs> no income for you. And let's also take this slight breathing space to repair our ships. Oh no, don't cancel repairing you. We need to repair one of the bigger ones. Oh. Can't repair the bigger ones. Okay. Uh, Britain! Britain, 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 Britain! Don't... Oh. I saw my whole life flash through my eyes. Prussians are also pushing east. Yeah, I don't want to overreach. I want to make my home ground stable. I don't want... No, I don't want to be suffering from insurrection at home. I don't want to have to worry about whether my regions will actually stay loyal. So that's why I want my priests up and running to start converting the population to give me a bit more padding from the public order perspective and also it will give me that breathing space to buy um, eventually buy schools because right now we could never build a school here but we get rid of, get rid of that religious unrest maybe and also people in government they really hate minus one to management Plus one nobility, plus one navy. Okay, I'm going to put you out for this chap. Because at least he gives me... I mean, he's still got the minus one happiness lower classes. But at the very least, he's not. We do gain town wealth, diplomatic relations, and prestige. Um, 1,200 a turn. May as well build the Jesuit College. Because what does it really provide? Increases happiness for Catholic Pops, which is going to get better and better. And I presume it, I would imagine, it also increases our uh, likelihood of recruiting religious agents, which is obviously really good. It also means, as we develop towns in Algeria, I can put them onto um, industry, rather than worrying about... Um, schools and happiness buildings I mean everyone wants the population to be happy I just need mine to be profitable at the same time but let's just keep keep the populations growing keep the towns growing keep everything growing We've got a local fishery let's build a light galley to occupy the port and let's upgrade you to a fishing fleet 
actually got some serious building desires to do first before doing anything else. I can need to get this guy upgraded. The church school not so much, but we may as well before pushing on to Morocco. I don't want to go near the border because I don't want to upset them. I can't really recruit anything super useful here either. They're not expanding their army either, which is good. Could try and attack them, but obviously they've got walls and they'll get a garrison. And Tripoli is just a really hard region to take for not much money. And we don't have really have the cash to build to foster uh, new relationships. Okay, now because Britain's left us alone. Um, hoping they'd chill out a bit. So what's happened? Brussels has taken... Uh, France has taken Brussels, which is understandable. Prussians have taken... They must have recaptured or someone did something. Well, these guys have swapped, obviously. But yeah, the Ottomans have pushed up to Kiev. Who's winning in India? The Marathas are getting a foothold. Let's also try and get peace with Sweden. Nope. Oh. Yeah. Slowly, slowly, catchy monkey. Right now, I think we're doing the right things. We do want to take Morocco, but we don't. I don't want to do it at the expense of having a weak empire behind it. Ideally, any one of these turns, I would like to see a priest show up. And I also need to build roads. Roads in Algiers to help grow the... well, increase town wealth mainly i'm not sure if, i'm not sure if roads help the villages grow it might help maybe like a more efficient transport of food good got a jesuit college and obviously part of the course i'm a, i've been overdue an, an audio problem so it has to kick in right towards the end naturally good there's our light galley here I'm not crazy about expanding too much because obviously we've got not very much money at all. But our town wealth is growing reasonably okay. 23 turns till we get a town here, which may or may not be a religious... Uh, it's probably going to be an industry building rather than religious unless we get a priest out of this college. Okay, let's send a ship to scout Morocco. Yeah, it's a full stack. Granted, it's lots of camels, but I don't like camels. And Spain is right there. With a bunch of pikes. <laughs> it's a pretty good army to attack camels. Okay, let's hit another end turn. I'd like, I'd like Morocco, but... Damn, camels are really good. Especially against infantry that have no square, no bayonets. And I can't recruit pikes. See, they want an alliance. Allied with Russia, Spain, the Marathas, but they're still at war with Austria and the Ottomans. I'd love your money, but no. I don't want to get involved in this conflict that's emerging in Eastern Europe. I want you guys to continue pounding seven bells out of each other and leaving me alone. You know, while I slowly build up a North African empire. Okay, 17 hundo. We can do a lot with this. Upgrade a magistrate to a governor's residence, gaining a bonuses on tax income, or we can build roads, which improves town wealth. Oh, we have much town wealth. 
I think I back Governor's Residence to increase repression and increase bonus to tax income. But hell, I might even... Okay. Is it worth sending off a bunch of light galleys to a trade region? Like, if I send this guy out now and just go, okay... What's the most valuable commodity? Spices. Spices and tea. So I just send one ship over to the East Indies because I don't have many enemies. Except, obviously, those guys. They're, gonna, they're not going to take this kindly. And they've actually invaded Spain. Yeah, no, bring my guy back. He could even... If he's at war with Spain... So we get plus so we get plus nine hundred for that, but if I don't attack them, it's we only get two hundred for raiding. I suppose it's not many ships. Um I suppose you at least pay for yourself, but I don't want to direct the British to come after me. I'm okay with them attacking Spain. I'd much rather have a go at Morocco. So we don't get any melee infantry, we get cavalry, which is a bit pants against camels Let's just keep doing what we're doing keep growing our keep growing our towns like I said event I don't want to take Tripoli a it's worthless and B it opens up a board with the Ottomans and they might not like me although it looks like they might have taken somewhere in Central Europe. Taken Laval. They got. A f oh, the Russians have taken New uh, Kiev back. Full blown conflict over here. Nothing to be built. Forty one turns till this guy gets Tatooine. Because we don't have a school, and we're not going to get one anywhere unless I garrison this town. But I want that priest! Build me a priest, damn it! Then again, I suppose you can't regenerate a priest if you've not got that many followers of your religion. <laughs> you know, well, at least you're not going to get many good priests. Let's just say that. Eighteen hundo. Fishing fleet. But the question, the problem is, well, do you see the problem that's happening? How much effort I'm having to spend to make decisions on building one building? Like, it's not a case of, oh, what's this strategy? What's that strategy? It's, I've got three buildings, which one do I build? Hmm. Not a great strategy. So we've built there, can't upgrade anything else. So I've put two ships out there now. Okay, 1100 for a fairly reasonable little gain. Just pecking it, passing trade. I would like some of that, but I'm not going to get it. <laughs> they did offer to pay me two and a half grand, but now they demand I pay them. <laughs> but let's just hope the Ottomans and the Russians stay at war forever. Austria is really growing in the centre. That's good, because Austria likes us. Can 
Catholic missionary in Tunis. Exactly what I wanted to see. He has no traits, but he can start converting the population down. And this guy's already doing a good job. He's 10% up. Food shortages aren't helping, certainly. People, they really hate the people in government. But once we get religious, religious unrest, that will really help. I don't think seminaries... Well, seminaries are certainly not a, pro, not a priority compared to cobbled roads. And slowly feeding more ships into this trade. Grabbing empire to help offset. Let's have another look. So... Okay, it's physically blocked by the Spanish. That's why we can't get out. Yeah. Hmm. Morocco would be nice, but we don't have we don't have the income to support the army to attack Morocco. Seemingly, there's no point sending many more ships to attack trade because it doesn't actually provide a material difference. Although I suppose because these trade ships are actually pretty small, they're not like actual ships. Yep, here come the Austrians to clear the sea of Barbary State's troops. Or ships. And I can only take it from the fact that Madrid's not turned yet. It means that the Spanish did fight off the British, and it's good that they're fighting Spain. Because it means that now the Spanish Navy at, at Gibraltar is now effectively our Navy. Because they're going to stop the Brits from sailing through. Which is great. So what if I dump my sh these like real ships over here to raid? So we're currently 1,100 with raiding, 900-ish without. Send the Jebek to raid as an intermediary. You're over here converting Algiers. And away we go. Not yet got any religious happiness yet. Camels. Can I recruit pikemen from my royal palace? Nope. That's unfortunate. Can't recruit camel pikemen over here either. It's just infantry. Hmm. Unsure what to do. We're in a bit of a holding pattern. But look at the time now. I've gone over my hour limit. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time in the continuing adventures of the Knights of St. John. Cheers, everyone.